semester exams you should definitely not use priority at all why <laughs> because how can students who are right now in btech can prepare and manage their academics with their gate preparation many people think that preparing for gate exam along with uh, college is difficult but then everyone who watches you know that you are a morning person how can this routine of getting up morning can benefit students while they are preparing for this exam i can tell you my strategies which have worked for me when they are preparing for gate as well as they pursue in academics their mental health get affected very much he would definitely get depressed and he would give up so my suggestion would be when a student come near to the end of their course what should they prioritize like placements and and gate preparation in my case what happened was i didn't sit for placement at all hello sir sir Hi. today i want to ask you how can students who are right now in btech can prepare and manage their academics with their gate preparation so many people think that preparing for gate exam along with uh, college is difficult but then last year one edtech company has conducted a research about how many people are either college students or droppers and they found out that 75% of the rankers toppers last last year were all college going students which means there are many people who are cracking gate while doing their college so my suggestion would be don't postpone your gate preparation till you finish your college do it while you while you are at college in fact i i did my gate preparation when i was at college when i was in third year itself i was able to prepare and crack the gate exam so i can tell you my strategies which have worked for me which can also work for the students so the first point very important point is if you are preparing for gate exam you should not give priority to college at all semester exams you should definitely not give priority at all why <laughs> because let us say you have given lot of time for semester exam and you got 9 cgpa and you got a bad gate rank it is not really helpful but let us say you didn't give priority to college exams and you got 7.5 cgpa and you got a gate rank below 100 that is more valuable so don't focus on your college exams in case if there are some uh, subjects which are common both in college as well as in gate you give priority to those subjects trust me i will tell you one thing if you prepare for gate you will have lot of content to write in other subjects also so you don't have to prepare especially for uh, you know those subjects you will have lot of content to write for even other subjects so while preparing for gate you will easily get 80% so you don't have to focus on college exams and the second part is don't go to college every day <laughs> so i think people will think that i am i am spoiling the students <laughs> but what i mean to say is uh, if your college is having a criteria that you need to maintain 75% attendance don't maintain beyond 75% that is sufficient just be there so that you will be promoted for the next semester just get only that much attendance and remaining time you stay at home and you prepare well for gate exam and also i'll tell you one more tip generally students commute right mm. to the college either in a bus or or in an auto then what students can do is during this commuting they can use their mobile phone with their earphones and they could actually watch the lectures see back in my days it was different we had to go to the offline classes on time and only study from there now students can better utilize the online videos they can actually watch the videos while in commute and then and then they can actually write down not write down just prepare the videos and write down the notes later when they go home okay so sir i want to ask you that when we when a student come near to the end of their course for a course when around 6th semester they tend to think about that what should they prioritize like placements and and gate preparation is there a way that student can prioritize like both together like there is some common ground between these two so your question is whether a student uh, uh, should focus on campus placements or not yes. when he is doing gate this gate uh, preparation right yes in my case what happened was i already got a rank in third year 
So I was sure that I will be getting a seat in IIT Bombay or IISC. Mm -hmm. And so I didn't sit for placement at all. But then if you if you are a college student, then it is always better to have a backup plan. Gate is never certain. No competitive exam is certain, which means you cannot be 100% sure that you will get a rank. You cannot do that. So have a backup. So for that backup, I suggest that you sit for placements and basically crack some company, keep it as backup. In fact, if you get a job, your parents will be happy, right? And your neighbors will be jealous. <laughs> <laughs> so get a job, keep it as a backup. And preparing for a job is very easy. It is just in B.Tech colleges, only service-based companies come. They ask only aptitude and basic programming. That is anyway covered in GATE. In GATE, we have aptitude and basic programming. That is sufficient to cra crack a service-based company. In fact, uh, in our course, we have included uh, problem solving in DSA, which means in our GATE course, there is algorithm data structures along with that problem solving is also there. If you prepare for that, I think your preparation is done for placements also. So you should definitely prioritize preparing for placements along with the GATE exam. Yes, okay, sir. Sir, so one also very common doubt among students is that how much time should one allot to the gate preparation per day if he is quite busy in his academic or in any other pursuits? How much time do, do you think a student should invest to get a decent rank in gate preparation? So if the students are, see, there is no single answer for this. I would always say put in as much time as possible, but don't make it too hectic for you. Otherwise, you'll give up. If it is, if you are, let us say, studying for 12 hours per day, you'll be able to do one on one day one, but then on and day two, day three. But then you, you will not be able to do on the tenth day. So try to have a very good schedule. And my suggestion would be preparing for three hours a day for six months is going to be sufficient. But then as these days the competition is very high. If you have to stand out, if you have to do well, I suggest that you invest in as much time as possible without making it too hectic for you. Yeah. Understandable, sir. Sir, so student usually uh, when they are preparing for GATE as well as they are preparing like their pursuit in academics, mm. their mental health get affected very much. <laughs> Yeah, so they, you know, get, tend to get confused that what will my future will hold for me. So yeah. do you have any advice for them? So you mean to say that uh, sometimes people people get depressed yeah. while preparing for gate yes. exam. It happens, it happens. It happened even, even with me also. Because of this hectic schedule, they, you will be undergoing a lot of stress. And mm, this stress right. will actually cause depression, mm -hmm. anxiety, sleeplessness. So it happens. It happens with everyone. If someone says that I am very happy, I don't have any stress, that is a lie. <laughs> everyone has stress in life. And even you believe it or not, if someone is not having stress, then he is very lucky. Everyone will have stress. And especially what happens is when you are preparing for gate exam. Now, when it comes to test series, generally what happens is in the test series, uh, they will look at their marks and they will compare themselves with others and they will look at their rank. Now, if someone is very serious about GATE and if he is not getting good marks in test series, good rank in test series, there are chances that he would definitely get depressed and he would give up, right? So my suggestion would be, see, you are not competing with the people. You are competing with the paper. Focus on getting 60 marks first. You don't look at the rank. Focus on getting 60 marks, then focus on getting 65 marks, then focus on getting 70 marks. That is sufficient. You don't have to be first ranker to get into an IIT, right? Anywhere below 500 is good. Mm -hmm. So you have margin of error there. You have a lot of margin of error there. So you should not be disappointed. Never see the marks of others and think that they are doing better than me. You are not competing with people. You are competing with the paper. Remember that. Okay. Thank yeah. you, sir. Yeah. Sir, so um, we see the college timing is relatively from around 9 to 5 only. And as everyone who watches you know that you are a morning person. So how can we, how can this routine of getting up morning can benefit students while they are preparing for this exam, while, you know, their, their academic pursuit as well? So I feel that 
Waking up early in the morning is better than working in the late nights. But it is just my opinion. There is no scientific uh, proof. I don't know if there is any scientific proof or survey conducted on being an early morning person is more effective than late night person. But in my opinion, I feel that waking up early will save a lot of time for you. The reason is four hours early in the morning is not equal to four hours late in the night. Because early in the morning, there will be no distractions. You will get four out of four hours to prepare. But late in the night, there will be a lot of distractions. Anything can happen. Like your friends may come to your place or someone someone might call you or you might be uh, attending some event or something like that. But early in the morning, all these things will not happen. So you will get four out of four hours in from, from 4 a.m. to 8 a.m. And if you, if you are doing it from 8 p.m. to 12 p.m., there is a chance that you are not focused. And also second thing is, immediately after you wake up from bed, you will be very uh, energetic and focused. But then when you are doing it late in the night, you will be exhausted. And you are not having that much of energy that you had in the morning. Mm -hmm. So your, 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 your concentration levels are also very low when you are uh, doing it in the night. This is all my opinion because I tried both the ways. When I was at IIC, I used to work in the nights and and then after IIC and before IIC, I used to work in the mornings. Right? So, one, one good thing about uh, hmm, uh, studying late at night is the day is in your control. What I mean to say is if you are studying or if you are working in the night, your day will end when you want it to end. I, know, I don't know if you are getting this point. What I mean to say is, if you are studying late in the night, you will not sleep until you finish your task. Mm, right. Which means your day will not end until you want it to end it. So if you are working in the night, maybe you will get 4 hours, 5 hours, 6 hours, 7 hours. You can get as many hours as possible. But if you are if you are waking in the morning, you will have only limited time like 4 a.m. Mm. to 8, 10 a.m. Because anyway, you are going to sleep by 10 p.m. Okay. And I think... Both are both are having disadvantages and advantages. Uh, it actually do what suits you. And one one more thing is, if you are preparing for gate, uh, don't uh, don't uh, mm, do major modifications in your lifestyle that will unnecessarily backfire everything. Mm. If you are a morning person, fine, stick to that. If you are a a late night person, stick to that. Don't do any modifications. If you are in a relationship, stick to that. If you are not in a relationship, stick to that. Okay, don't make any major lifestyle changes. You got it? Right, sir. Understood. <laughs> okay, yeah. You are right about it, sir. Like, everyone knows in BTEC, 1 a.m. is total jungle. Like, no one will allow you to study at that hour. So, you have to study in morning only. Yeah. yeah. Sir, one thing that I wanted to ask you is that, uh, students have to, while preparing, they have to concentrate in PYQs as well and test series. So, uh, with academic pursuit, how can one manage PYQs along with daily studies? Should he keep her book in while he is doing his lectures so, and all? So, I suggest that students should not do PYQs while preparing for the lectures. After all the lectures and uh, after all the subjects are over, they should take each paper one by one and answer them like a gate exam so that they will get a lot of gate experience, gate exam experience. Okay. And I suggest that uh, students should take uh, tests every Sunday, mm -hmm. you know, during the gate exam time. Exactly if the gate exam is 9 to 1 or 10 to 1, then students should take, uh, I think generally gate exam is from 9 to nine to 1, I guess. But what I mean to say is you, you, you try to maintain a schedule where you are going to take the test during this time, the same time every Sunday, so that if even if the exam is on Sunday at the same time, you will be you will be used to that. Okay, and PYQs mm -hmm. don't solve them; solve them only after entire uh, preparation is over. As a paper, you solve it. Take the entire uh, three hours paper at a time, so that you will be know you will know how well you are doing in the real exam great exam paper okay sir mm -hmm. so in all this advices do you think that there is some place for exercise while they are preparing for you know they are handling both things do you, how much relevant is exercise like a walk or a 30 minute 
brisk walking or running do you think that exercise has relevance relevance in this preparation so it doesn't matter whether you are a gate aspirant or an employee or an entrepreneur working out is important for everyone because it relieves stress i used to work out a lot but then recent after some after some few years or before some few years i stopped working out and i could understand that you know my stress levels have been higher and recently i started working out and i'm feeling better so it not just for gate exam for any exam you are preparing um, make it a point that you work out every day it will relieve lot of stress and also it is good for it is it is in fact good for your health also so yeah workout is important okay sir thank you sir this is all i wanted to ask okay so i think you got all your answers yes, right yes i got it okay fine thank you so much thank you sir yeah